Good news. We are starting the micro soldering training workshop late September or October. I've been planning for this for the longest time. And viewers, customers have been waiting for this for a long time. We always get emails. When are you doing training? When are you doing training? When are you doing training? We are starting. We're going to be doing it late September. We're going to start late September or October. And I have two courses laid out, two micro soldering courses, beginners to intermediate, intermediate to advanced. We're going to cover everything from A to Z and micro soldering. When you take those two courses, you can go out there and make it your job. We're going to offer all the tools that you need that you can buy as one package, all the tools that we're going to be using in the training workshop here. And most of those tools I use on my bench right here. Everything from a soldering iron, hot air station, flux, braid wick, fume extractor, microscope, articulating arm, everything that we use, everything that you will ever need for to do a proper micro soldering job will be offered in that package, whether you want to buy it or not. But that's those are the tools that we're going to be using in our workshop here. And you will learn absolutely everything about soldering, everything I learned throughout my, what, 15 years journey. We started the business in 2014. That's already 10 years. And I've done micro soldering way before we started the business. So I would say I do not need to introduce myself. You already know from my portfolio, from our YouTube channel, what soldering is like. Better than factory, no doubt. And all those techniques and skills I learned throughout the years will be offered to you in two workshops. Each workshop is three days, two courses, six days. Some may ask, why do I need training or why do I need to attend a workshop to learn about micro soldering when we have this amazing platform, YouTube, we go and search how to do stuff and we can learn. Of course you can. YouTube is open to everyone. You can learn how to fly a jet plane by watching YouTube. You can learn how to transplant a heart and human body by watching a YouTube video. You can learn how to give birth to a baby by watching a YouTube video. But what you do not learn are the mistakes. I learned a lot throughout the years. I made a lot of mistakes. I used tremendous amount of tools throughout the years. I know what works, what does not work, what tip to use for that job, what soldering iron tip to use for that job. If you are working with this type of board, how much heat to apply, how far your hand has to be from the board when you are applying heat, what to watch out for, and all the stuff I learned throughout the years, which you can learn on your own if you want to spend the time. But I'm summarizing 15 years of my life into six days, and I'm giving you what matters. We're not going to go over what is the history of a soldering iron. Who cares? We care about practical learning, stuff that you will learn, and you can immediately apply and start making money with when you go out in the real world. Whether you are a hobbyist or you want to do this as a business, whatever you learn in the workshop here, you can go outside in the real world and make it your job and start making money immediately. I've been looking for a technician. I've posted many videos on our channel. I've been looking for a technician for the longest time, and I'm not able to find not a single qualified person that can do the job. I found a lot. They are in different countries of the world. I need somebody local. Locally, I'm not able to find a single person that is able to do a micro soldering job. A lot of people came in to apply, and I do not look if they have a bachelor degree in whatever. I do not look if they have a PhD in science, a PhD in physics, a PhD in mathematics. I do not care. You do not have to show me a degree. I want to know. I want to see what you can do. So I ask. The person who comes to apply for a job, a simple question. What station are you using for your soldering iron? And that person was like, oh, I have that black station. You know, the one with the blue handle. I do not know. What tip do you use to solder? Oh, uh, I got that tip. It's like that big. And that person knows nothing. If you do not know your tools, if you do not know what tip you are using, you do not know the size of the hot air station nozzle that you are using, it means you never really got into it. When I got into soldering, I was researching nozzles, hot air nozzles. What is the purpose of having a bigger nozzle? What's the purpose of having a bent nozzle? And that's how you learn with research. You research and you learn. You research and you learn. You research and you learn. 
You can do that on your own, but it's going to take a long time. I already did the research. I already discovered what works and what does not work. I already discovered what makes me money and what wastes my time. I already learned what to work on and what not to work on. And I learned time management. I learned how to be practical and all that stuff. I mean, this class is not about business, but when I'm teaching, I'm going to go over the business side of micro soldering. I do talk a lot about it when I'm making videos on YouTube, but in class, it's going to be in person and I'm going to go over absolutely everything that you need to know about micro soldering. Now, I'm going to go over everything in those two workshops, beginner to intermediate, intermediate to advanced, but it's up to you how much you want to practice. So practice is everything. Practice is the mother of all skills. Do not expect to come here, take those two workshops, and be an expert overnight. Be a pro overnight. For some of you, that may be possible, but for others, you may have to practice. A commercial pilot, he learns everything about that airplane. He learns everything about the weather. He learns everything about turbulence. But in order for him to get his license, he will have to fly 10,000 hours, let's say. I do not know how many hours, but I know it's in the thousands if you want to be a commercial pilot. So Michael Jordan can come and show you how to hold that basketball and how to use your fingers to shoot that ball. But if you do not go out there, hold that ball with your fingers and shoot like 5,000 times, 10,000 times, you're not going to get it. Even though you know the technique, you still need to practice. It may take you a day to practice that specific soldering technique. For some, Every person is different. For some, maybe it takes them two days, three days, one week, two weeks. Maybe a person does not have the will. He lost interest. Maybe it takes them longer. You need to spend time under your microscope and practice. The more you practice, the better you become. The more confident you will be when taken on a job. The more effortlessly you will do a job and the more money you will make because the faster you do a job, the more time you will have to do another job and another job and another job. And when I say the faster you do a job, I do not mean that you're going to do a crappy job and jump over to another job. No, you're going to do a pro job because of your experience. You're going to do a better than factory job because you learned from the best, from the better than factory guy. And <laughs> you're going to jump over to another device and you're going to do another better than factory job, so on and so forth. I mean... I took thousands of dollars in loans when I went to Polytechnic University in Brooklyn, New York. I graduated with a bachelor's in electrical engineering, right here. The amount of money it took to get that degree, spending the money on transportation, on books, everything that follows along with being in a university, I spent a lot of money. I came out of school with this degree, and I had zero practical experience. That I waste my money for nothing. I mean, I'm an educated person. My brother is an educated person. My two sisters are educated. Education did nothing for me to get me to where I am today. It's the will to learn and patience and persistency. That's what got me here. I'm not against education but I am against non-practical learning. You go to school, you spend four years, actually not four years, because you go to junior high school, then you go to high school, then you go to college, and you have $100,000 in loans, maybe now it's more, in 2024, I do not know what, what the cost of a university is, I graduated in 2003, but it's over $100,000. How long is that person going to work to pay off his loans, while he still has to pay his rent, vehicle, gas, food, takeout, clothes, family, that person is going to be a slave to what you call or to what Andrew Tate calls the matrix. And his head is going to be like this underwater, like this underwater. Water goes up to here, he's dead. He's going to keep working and working and working and working. He's not going to have time to make something out of his life. He's not going to have time to build a business of his dreams, and that's because of what? Because of that bachelor degree that you fought hard to get. Go ahead and get your bachelor's degree. I'm not against education, but I need you to think different. You go to junior high school, 
and then four years high school, and then four years in college. That's if you did not do your master's or PhD, which I personally think is a big waste of time because we graduate from school with this piece of degree that we are so happy with. Look at me, I have this, look at me. I have a bachelor's and you have zero practical experience in the real world. Even when you go to apply for a job, they will have to teach you everything from scratch and not because of what you learned if they accept you, it's not because of what you learned in school. The employer will actually see that piece of degree, will see you as a person who fought hard, who went through all those four years in school, you completed the job and you got that degree. That's important for the employer because he can count on you. That person is gonna stick around with the company, that person is gonna complete the job, but it's not because of your knowledge or because you have that degree that says you're an electrical engineer. You go to that company, they will have to teach you everything from scratch, with exception to, of course, if you wanna become a doctor, if you wanna become a lawyer, if you wanna become an engineer, design a building, then you do not want that building to collapse. You need to know your math, you need to know your physics. A patient, he goes to a doctor, if that doctor makes a mistake, that patient is dead. So he, need, he needs to know his stuff. An astronaut, he needs to know all about physics, he needs to know about the atmosphere, and he needs to go to school for that, with exception to those majors. But 90% of people, they go to school, they come out of school with zero practical experience. And I can tell you right now, the money that you make majoring in any field in school is gonna be a fraction of the money that you make when you do this type of job, micro soldering. I know because I'm in this field, maybe I have an advantage because of the hard work I put and the visibility I have on YouTube, but if I can do it, anybody can do it, you have to start somewhere. So why am I saying this? If you learn a field such as micro soldering, you like that field, you love that field, you can make a lot of money with that field, you can make that field into a business. And I did mention, I have a very hard time finding a person who can help in the shop here. I do not have, not a single person came in with experience. That tells you how much in demand micro soldering is. And I'm not saying this so you can come and attend the class. We have more than enough people to keep us busy for 20 years. We have more than enough devices in the shop to fix that will keep us busy for the next 20 years. But I'm saying this for your own good because every video I post on YouTube has free information. Even if that device that we tried to fix on YouTube ended up being a no fix, you still benefit from an advice, from good information, or from something that you will learn by watching that video. We have a form on our website for people who are interested in training. We've had that form on the site for the past, how long? Maybe two years? Because we were planning, when are we gonna train? When are we gonna train? We are a very busy shop and I honestly do not know how often we're gonna do this workshop, but right now, if you look here, we have 10,624 people who signed up to get notified when we start training. How are we gonna fit all those people in the class? We cannot. I'm not gonna email the people because if I email them now, a lot of them are gonna end up paying for the class and I'm not gonna know how to set those people with the class, even if 1% of 10,000 people they sign up for the class, it's a lot. So I think whoever watches the video now, if you are interested in being part of that workshop, and like I said, I do not know when the next workshop will be. Maybe it will be next week after the first workshop. Maybe it will be after one month. It all depends on our workload and how often we can do the workshop. So if you are watching the video, you are in the US or you are in a different country, if you are in an international country, you have to plan your trip, hotels and all that stuff. And six days, we should be done with the course. If you wanna be part of the workshop, just log in to northwitchfix.com, click on contact, put your name, your email, subject, choose training. And for the message, just write, I want to be part of the micro soldering workshop. Send, submit. Dolly will reach out. She will arrange a 
the payment and she will let you know when the workshop starts. Or Dali may respond to you and let you know that we are currently full. Then we will let you know when the next workshop will be. And that's it. We're going to end the video right here. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Thank you.